Since their inception, video games have captivated us, drawing us into their vibrant and dynamic worlds. They transport us to fantastical realms, challenge our intellect with intricate puzzles and strategic gameplay, and connect us with others in shared virtual experiences, fostering friendships and communities across the globe. The PlayStation, with its impressive processing power and immersive titles, stands as a monument to how far gaming has come, offering experiences that were once the stuff of dreams. But even these technological marvels are not immune to the curious minds of hackers who see these systems as puzzles to be solved. Just as a locksmith studies the intricacies of a lock, not to pick it for nefarious purposes, but to understand its vulnerabilities and strengthen its defenses, so too do ethical hackers delve into the digital architecture of gaming consoles, seeking to understand and improve. Our journey into the world of PlayStation hacking is one of exploration and understanding, not of malicious intent. We aim to uncover the layers of complexity that make these systems both fascinating and secure. We aim to shed light on the methods employed by hackers, not to equip you with the tools of disruption, but to empower you with the knowledge to appreciate the complexities of cybersecurity and the importance of ethical conduct in the digital age. Understanding these methods helps us build stronger, more resilient systems. Remember, the virtual world, much like the real one, thrives on respect, responsibility, and a shared understanding of the rules of engagement. By embracing these principles, we can ensure that our digital playground remains a place of wonder and innovation for all. Before we embark on this exploration, it's crucial to establish a firm ethical foundation. Hacking, in its purest form, is about understanding how systems work. It's about probing for weaknesses, not to exploit them, but to fortify them. Think of a security researcher simulating an attack on a bank's computer system. Their goal is not to steal money, but to identify vulnerabilities that malicious actors could exploit. Similarly, ethical hackers in the gaming world strive to find and report security flaws, ensuring a safer and more enjoyable experience for all. Their work helps developers patch vulnerabilities, preventing cheaters from ruining online games and protecting your personal information. This ethical approach to hacking, often referred to as white hat hacking, is about using one's knowledge for good, contributing to a more secure and trustworthy digital landscape. At the heart of every PlayStation lies its software, a complex ecosystem of code that dictates everything from how the console boots up to how it manages its resources and interacts with the hardware components. This intricate code base is responsible for everything, including how games render graphics, ensuring smooth and immersive gameplay experiences. Hackers, driven by a relentless curiosity and a desire to push boundaries, seek to unravel this digital tapestry. They aim to understand its inner workings and identify potential points of manipulation, often spending countless hours in this pursuit. One common method involves reverse engineering, a process akin to meticulously disassembling a clock to understand how each gear and spring contributes to its function. This method allows them to piece together the software's architecture. By deconstructing the PlayStation software, hackers can uncover hidden pathways and functionalities that could be leveraged to alter the system's behavior, potentially unlocking new capabilities or bypassing restrictions. Another approach involves exploiting vulnerabilities, which are essentially flaws in the code that can be manipulated to grant unauthorized access or control. These vulnerabilities can be subtle and difficult to detect. These vulnerabilities can arise from various sources, such as coding errors, design oversights, or even unforeseen interactions between different software components. Each source presents a unique challenge and opportunity for hackers. Once a vulnerability is discovered, Hackers can craft exploits, snippets of code designed to leverage these weaknesses and gain a foothold within the system. These exploits can then be used to modify the system or gain unauthorized access, showcasing the delicate balance between security and functionality in software design. Finding these vulnerabilities is often a painstaking process, requiring a deep understanding of the PlayStation's architecture and the intricacies of software development. Hackers employ various tools and techniques, from fuzzing, a method of bombarding the system with random inputs to trigger unexpected behavior, to static analysis, which involves meticulously examining the code base for logical flaws. Once a vulnerability is identified, the next step is crafting an exploit. This involves writing code that takes advantage of the weakness, 
allowing the hacker to bypass security measures, execute arbitrary code, or access restricted areas of the system. The complexity of these exploits varies greatly depending on the nature of the vulnerability and the hacker's skill level. Some exploits might be relatively simple, requiring just a few lines of code, while others can be incredibly sophisticated, involving multiple stages and intricate knowledge of the target system. The process of finding and exploiting these vulnerabilities is not just about technical skills, but also about creativity and persistence. Hackers often need to think outside the box and continuously adapt their strategies to overcome new challenges and security measures. It's a cat and mouse game where each side is constantly evolving to outsmart the other. Case study, when digital worlds crumble, the GTA Online Infiltration. The world of Grand Theft Auto Online, with its sprawling cityscape and endless possibilities for virtual mayhem, has been a prime target for hackers seeking to disrupt the game and gain an unfair advantage. One notorious example involved the use of cheat menus, unauthorized modifications that granted players access to a plethora of illicit abilities. These menus, often distributed through shady online forums, allowed cheaters to teleport around the map, spawn weapons at will, and even manipulate the in-game economy, wreaking havoc on the online experience for legitimate players. The impact of such hacks extends beyond mere annoyance. They can undermine the integrity of the game's economy, discourage fair play, and even lead to the theft of personal information if hackers manage to compromise player accounts. The landscape of PlayStation hacking is in a constant state of flux. As Sony releases new firmware updates and developers patch vulnerabilities, hackers are continuously searching for new exploits, engaging in a perpetual game of cat and mouse. This constant back and forth is a testament to the ingenuity of both sides, with each iteration pushing the boundaries of what's possible. For Sony and game developers, the challenge lies in staying one step ahead, anticipating attack vectors and implementing robust security measures. For ethical hackers, the pursuit is about continually honing their skills, uncovering vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. This ongoing battle highlights the dynamic nature of cybersecurity, a field where complacency can be costly and where constant vigilance is paramount. While the image of a lone hacker toiling away in a darkened room might seem romanticized in popular culture, the reality is that hacking, when used for malicious purposes, carries serious real-world consequences. Game piracy, for example, costs the gaming industry billions of dollars each year, stifling innovation and depriving developers of the resources they need to create the games we love. Moreover, engaging in illegal hacking activities can lead to severe legal repercussions, including hefty fines and even imprisonment. It's essential to remember that the virtual world is not a lawless frontier. The actions we take in the digital realm have real-world implications, and it's crucial to act responsibly and ethically. In the face of these threats, ethical hackers serve as digital guardians, using their knowledge to fortify systems and protect users. They work closely with developers, reporting vulnerabilities responsibly, and helping to ensure that games are secure and enjoyable for everyone. Organizations like the Open Web Application Security Project, or OASP, provide resources and guidelines for ethical hacking, fostering a community of security researchers dedicated to making the digital world a safer place. By understanding the motivations and methodologies of hackers, both ethical and malicious, we can better appreciate the complexities of cybersecurity and work towards a future where technology empowers rather than endangers. This collaborative spirit, this shared responsibility for safeguarding our digital lives, is essential as we navigate the ever-evolving landscape of technology. Our exploration into the world of PlayStation hacking has been a journey into the heart of cybersecurity, a realm where knowledge is power and where ethical considerations are paramount. If you're intrigued by the challenges of protecting our digital lives, we encourage you to delve deeper into the world of ethical hacking. Subscribe to CyberWorld YT for more insights, tutorials, and discussions on all things cybersecurity. Remember, the quest for a safer digital world requires constant learning, collaboration, and an unwavering commitment to ethical conduct. The future of cybersecurity rests not just on technological innovation, but on our collective wisdom and responsibility in harnessing its power for good.